Today we drive the most beautiful road in the world. Honestly, there is so much that we could see on this drive. There's another one! <laughs> what the hell? Whoa. I'm speechless. There is a glacial lake at 2,000 meters altitude that you might be able to swim in. But I'm not holding us to that because it's <laughs> gonna be really cold. Trying to learn how to pronounce the highway that we're going to do. Transfaragashan. Let's go drive the Transfaragashan. So yesterday we filled up the car and drove to this little town that's at the southern end of the Transfaragashan. Transfaragashan. We spent one night in this really nice Airbnb so that we could get up early and literally start the drive on the road. So we are on it right now. We haven't got to any cool stuff yet, but we're straight into it. Literally I'm so excited. Straight onto it. Out of their driveway onto the Transfaragashan Trans Highway. Yeah. Yeah. Wasting no time in the morning. This drive is going to take us all day. We've been on the road for what, 10 minutes? We've already stopped. <laughs> It's so pretty! This road is so incredibly beautiful. We have been so distracted by all of the vistas and everything that I'm pretty sure we've missed the turn off of Vlad's castle. Although we do think it's temporarily closed at the moment, so that's okay. But this road is full of hairpin turns, basically the entire way. And we are taking it so slowly because of how amazing it is. Everyone can pass us, we don't mind. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> A little bit of history about the road. It took four years to build, 1970 to 1974. The leader of Romania at the time wanted a passageway through the Carpathian Mountains so that when the Soviets came, they had a place to go. And they just carved up the mountain all the way through it. It's the wiggliest line if you look at it on a map I, you will ever see, but it's awesome. speak to its smiths to make paprika a flavour of chip back home, but it needs to happen. <laughs> They're so good! It just keeps getting better and better. We are like surrounded by the mountain tops now. The trees are starting to be really sparse. There's all these really cool bridges that are like grass and stuff on top. It is just spectacular. That's it. Awesome. That's insane. Donkeys. What? what? Donkeys. I love donkeys so much. Unexpected, amazing surprise. I'm hanging out with a donkey. <laughs> They're one of my favorite animals in the world. Just after a penguin. In my wildest dreams, I never thought that this day we would be surrounded by the Carpathian Mountains petting a donkey. <laughs> Look at their bellies, they're so stupid. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I think I'm crying. I'm so happy. <laughs> I love them so much. We 
use your handsome puppy. Alright, we're gonna go. No! Come with us! <laughs> I literally cried. That made me so ridiculously happy. <gasps> She's feeding you an apple! <laughs> she dropped both of them! That was so unexpected and so perfect. The beautiful mountains in the background, the donkeys. At least now we've patted donkeys. Like if we don't see a bear, I'm happy. Hey what? buddy! Noodle <laughs> 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 car? I'm going to try and leave now. Okay, bye bye puppies. Bye guys. I'm speechless. If nothing else happens, it's worth it. I feel like, especially that end bit where he just was behind me in the car. I feel like a lifelong dream I had no idea I had has just come true. That was like the highlight of my day by far, potentially the highlight of the R Romania trip so far. This has been incredible already. We only just got to the point where the trees have thinned out completely so I don't know if we're gonna see any bears but the donkeys whoo baby <laughs> I love them so much I was just saying to Jordan that this has instantly become one of my like happy places like when you do meditation they're like think back to a time that you were really happy this is it, this is it. I love it come to this viewpoint and it is like a sheer drop off there but you can see all of the crazy hairpin turns that we've been going on <sighs> so scary it is freezing cold up here now probably the most beautiful sight I've seen yeah up there with Sapper up there with Sapper in Vietnam when they were say when we were reading everything saying that this was like the most beautiful highway in the world I was like how beautiful can a highway really be mm. Mind-blowingly beautiful. beautiful that now. What the hell? Whoa. What the heck? It's like covered in mist. We literally went through one tunnel and came out with totally different weather. Look at the mist move over there. For the tunnels like that, they actually had to use about 5,000 tons of dynamite to make those tunnels. And there's so many of them through the rock faces here. Didn't realize they could change weather though. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't even see in the distance. That's all fog. We had dreams of a secluded lake that we might be able to take a dip in. Those dreams are very quickly crushed. The weather just gets me. It's crazy. This fog all up the mountainside, and then there's sheep in the distance that are just jumping over rocks. It's so beautiful. We're disappearing into the mist. Not quite the sunny, peaceful lake we were expecting. <laughs> Literally can't even see it anymore. And the water looks a little bit dirty. So I'm opting out of the swim. I don't know what you're gonna do. I have to touch the water, so I'm just gonna put my hand in. <laughs> <laughs> I think it honestly would be swimmable if it wasn't Royce on the top layer. <laughs> There's people around us, but you can't see them, so you just hear like maniacal laughs from the fog. <laughs> Feels like we're all by ourselves.
What a weird day on the trans what? <laughs> trans transfiguration. Yeah, we've seen a lot. <laughs> this town up here was packed as well. There's like the car park, which is Tenley an hour. And then there is just, it is lined mm. with stalls selling food, trinkets, everything you could wish for. There's police officers because it's that busy, like mm. herding the traffic along. It's crazy. All the cars are moving at a snail's pace. But, but we've got to park. We've got to park. Now we just got to find a bear. <laughs> we don't think the mist is going to clear anytime soon, so we're going to go up a little bit of a hill that we saw on the way in. There's a lot of people there. I don't know how mist covered that is, but... Yeah. It is insane how many people we're passing right now. That, I feel like the whole time coming up from the side we did until we got to Blay Lake, is that what it's called? Blay Lake, it wasn't that busy. And then we've just passed everyone that's on the Transvargation. Transvargation. Highway, then. I guess it makes sense because that's like one of the main stops to do. Back to the hairpin turns. <laughs> oh, you can go slow. Insane. I thought we were like done with the trip, done with the hairpin turns, but look how many there are just in this little bit. This is the view everyone wants when you come here. It's pretty nice. And in winter, because they close this half the year, you can't come up here at all because it's too snowy. They actually have cable cars to take you some of the way and you can just see a little cable car starting point down there. Just like that, we are back in the tree line and back on Bear Watch. I want to see one so badly. I totally forgot about bears. <laughs> it's just transfixed by the view and the donkeys. Oh, the donkeys. at Koti Swara, which means we're almost done with the transparagation. Feels like we're out of bear country now, so I don't think we're gonna get to see one, which is a bit of a bummer, but luckily we did go to Liberty Bear Sanctuary, and that scratched the itch a little bit. Sincerely apologize for the pronunciation that we've used for a few different places today, and also, like, while we've been in Romania, we've not been very good at being able to pronounce things properly. Sorry about that. Romanian's a tough language. Who knew a highway would be that much fun? No bears. I tried a bear call. How does a bear call sound? Ba -ba -ba! Wow, and they didn't come for that? No luck. Crazy. Surprising. Mm -hmm. 